I'm Samuel. I'm Tanner. And, and this, this is House of Mouse. Today we are here at Epcot. Um, it's the day, a couple days after the 40th. Uh, we're here today to check out some of the new merchandise and get a little snack or two and do a couple rides. We've got an individual lightning lane here in just a few minutes for um, Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we're going to see what else we can uh, venture onto. So, you ready? Let's go! The crowd levels today are much higher than what they were last Friday at the parks. Or maybe just because it's Epcot. Well, our first stop, of course, we're going to check out Creations. So we just found the newest edition of the Mickey's Main Attraction Collection. And we've got Dumbo. So cute. So we found a Epcot 40th zip up hoodie. It's got the 40th logo here. And this one is $64.99. The back of this is awesome though. I really like the back. There's also a new Epcot 40th lounge fly, both backpack and a wallet. And the wallet is 50. How much is the backpack? 80? 85. 85? $85. So stinking cute. Tanner also found a 40th Epcot Spirit, Spirit Jersey that says celebrating 40 years of imagination. And this one, the usual price, $74.99. Also found the pins for Epcot 40th Celebration with pigment on it. This is $17.99. If you're not into Spirit jerseys, they have a cute little button up here with the 40th logo on it. Very colorful at the bottom. We also have another 40th pen, limited edition. Open it up. World of Motion. And this one's $19.99. They have a new pass holder uh, pen with pigment on it, limited release. So that one's $17.99. And I think that one opens as well. Let me tell where they're all over here. No. Nope. I can't do it. Maybe not. Just kidding. They also have pass holder shirts. How cute is that? And that is $34.99. Pork sickles. $44.99. Well we have found the mother of all pens limited edition with pigment. That pen is bigger than my face. And it's also $115. We also have a long sleeve t-shirt. That is $39.99. Look at these crowds. It is so crowded in here today. Like what is going on? It's literally a zoo. I think we're about to head over to Guardians of the Galaxy because you know, you know, we had to get an individual lightning lane for that. We can never come to Epcot and not ride that ride. So I think we're gonna head over that way to do that and then grab some snacks. And if you're a fan of the Magic Band Plus, they also have the 40th anniversary Epcot one as well. And that is... Doesn't say. Doesn't say. I'm guessing 50 bucks. Probably, 45. or 45. We have arrived to Guardians of the Galaxy and the Wonders of Xandar. Okay. What happened, Layla? I'll be right back. Just one of the reasons we are here today at Epcot. 
Sundarians, it should work. It'll work. So long as you are standing inside the lighted ring, you do not want to know what happened last time someone did not stand where I told them to, okay? Stand by for teleportation. since series one, I know, embarrassing, but it alerted us that the noise level in the uh, roller coaster was at like 100 decibels, and long-term exposure could cause uh, permanent damage. I thought that was <laughs> interesting. You know. But, you know, that ride is just amazing. It's, so, it's just so fun. But now I think we're gonna go get a snack and uh, walk around the World Showcase. Well, our first stop tonight for snacks is gonna be the fry basket. So I think we're gonna get the euchre fries. yucca fries and I did ask for extra um, garlic aioli and boy did they deliver and we got even an um, extra side of it usually when they give it to you it's only enough to cover the top never enough for the rest of it but if you know you know the table available is the Epcot trash can so we are making our way over to brew wing at the Odyssey um, we haven't even been in here yet they have the plant-based um, Brussels sprouts, and we really want to try them because they look really good. So, we're going to go uh, taste test those. So 
we got two different things here from the brewing. We got the Brussels sprouts, which we'll try in a second. But we also got the cider flights. Um, so it's fun with these little si these little flights for the festivals. They always give you a little card that gives you the details of each one. It's just trying to figure out if they put these in order of the card. Um, I'm assuming this one is the middle one here. It is the woodchuck guava, another hard cider. I'm thinking one of these two then is the strawberry lemonade cider and then the hard, the honey crisp hard cider. So we'll try these here in a second. All right, the first one here I believe is the honey crisp. That just tastes like spiked apple juice. And then this one, if I don't spill it. I think that one. Oh, stop it. Stop it. I think that one is the strawberry. The strawberry lemonade. Unless this one is. I can't tell. They're all kind of taste the same. Nope, that's the strawberry one. That is the strawberry lemonade one. That one is very, uh, very light and very crisp. taste that buffalo sauce and then that ale is actually really good I'm not sure exactly what it is but it has some chive in it for sure um, Brussels sprouts are not crispy but um, they are actually really good we found a little friend that joined us for dinner we've made it to the world showcase and of course as always we go left it's not even eight o'clock yet and it's already getting so dark It's officially fall. So next we have stopped at the India booth to get the samosas. Got our samosas. These are so good. They've got a nice kick to them too. I think we showed them before when we first uh, visited Food & Wine, but we'll put the description in the captions here. Found some of the food and wine festival merchandise still. We are now here in the Italy pavilion. And can any of you guess where we're going to get a drink next? Comment down below if you know where we're going. We've made it into Tutto Gusto. This is right next door to the restaurant. Here's the menu, in case you guys want to go ahead and scan and check it out. Well, I got a Negroni, and Tanner got the Italian mule. Over in the Japan Pavilion, we're back at Mitsukoshi. Last time we were here, they had all the black tarp up because they were doing some refurbishments. So we're taking a peek now at what it looks like. This merchandise is so funny. They even have a little backpack. We've arrived to Rose and Crown. So, Rose and Crown, you know how we love coming here. Got some cocktails, wine. I think I'm going to get my go to and just get a vodka soda. So, I think our last snack stop is going to be at Earth Eats. And Tanner has ordered the Impossible Burger Slider. I don't know if you guys remember from our last video, but this one had some kick to it. This had the wasabi and also had some fresh jalapeno on it. This is a slider, and remember I was just talking about the fresh jalapeno on that gives that a real kick. Um, this one is so good though because it has some almost Asian inspired flavors to it. So I lied, but there's going to be one last stop because I forgot that I actually remembered my popcorn bucket. So we're gonna get a popcorn refill. We were a little sacrilegious with uh, Disney today and 
didn't go to Harmonious, but we did do some shopping. So uh, we just finished with Epcot. Um, like we said, we didn't stay for Harmonious, but we did a little shopping um, and I had a good time, did you? Yeah, I am glad we got at least to try some more food again and get some of the stuff that we liked before. Yeah, definitely. I was a little sad. I wanted to get the Harmonious Spirit Jersey, but they didn't have it right now. So hopefully, hopefully it comes back yeah, soon. Hopefully it'll be back. Usually they bring it back. But So we um, ate a lot of food. We are stuff actually got my popcorn got the popcorn this time because we did remember the popcorn bucket uh what was your favorite food tonight i think my favorite was the samosas i love those samosas yeah those were really good i think my favorite was probably the brussels sprouts um it was new so maybe that's why but the flavor was just really good i wish they were a little more crispy but it's okay of course i did stop at the um earth eats booth and get a slider you know <laughs> We had a really good night. We thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye. bye.